Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm out visiting another Master Gardener house, and this is a common complaint for people that have cherry trees in their yard, and it's becoming more prevalent than ever before, and the disease causes the cherries to lose leaves, so that's usually the first reason they're reporting it. And then when they go and inspect the leaves that are falling on the ground, they notice there's many, many little holes all over the leaves, and it almost looks like an insect's chewed them. So come on over, let's take a look at the symptoms the leaves actually, with maturity, turn yellow and fall to the ground. And then people notice these shot holes in them. And the shot holes actually occur while the leaves are still green and on the tree. So the diseases, we just group it into the, its symptom. We call it a cherry shot hole disease. And if you want to look up at these cherries, there are, uh, these are large Yoshino cherries, and the customer has five of them. And look at all the drill holes in there. You can actually look through the foliage into the blue sky and see all the little holes. And what's unique about this disease is it's sometimes a bacteria and sometimes it's a fungus. So therefore to just say, oh, I wanna spray my tree is not an easy thing to do because you'd have to determine whether it's the fungus or whether it's the bacteria on the foliage. So she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six Yoshino cherries here. And these are very mature trees that are many years old, um, probably 10, 15, 20 years old. She just said 20 years old. So to pray, pay an arborist to spray a fungicide would not be practical. If you were trying to control the fungus, most of you know already that funguses are not like insects that you just, oh, I see the insect, I spray it and kill it. It doesn't work like that. With fungus, you have to come in early. You have to be preventative. And so when the leaves are first emerging on these trees in the spring months, you'd have to be applying the fungicides on as protective sprays on that young foliage. And you'd probably have to come in two times and spray those preventative sprays. And on a tree this size, that's a lot of money. So it's really not economical for anybody to control cherry shot hole disease. So we're left with just wait and watch. Now you'll notice they have a road out here. I would think that with the air movement from this road coming off, and you would think the heat radiating off of there, this would be proper air circulation that would prevent a fungus. Because anything you can do to increase sunlight, increase air circulation, will decrease your fungus. And that's hopefully what's going to happen now that we're getting into midsummer. The heat from the pavement is going to help the trees stay dry, and that's going to work to her advantage. But in a home, you might consider how you might prune your trees and thin them out. And if there's sur surrounding trees that might be shading yours, if you can remove them to increase the sun, that'll reduce your infection by fun fungus but not an easy one to control. And if it were to continue with wet weather and cool nights and this persisted, she might lose most of the leaves on her cherry tree and really be able to do nothing until next year beginning a spray program, which is really not economical. So you're kind of stuck to just kind of wait and watch what your cherry tree does. I think she's gonna do fine for the rest of the summer. I think we're gonna dry out and she's gonna keep most of her leaves. If you wanted to be real preventative, get out there and rake them and pick them all up because every one of those leaves laying under the ground is carrying the inoculum that can reinfect your tree in following years. So definitely cleaning those leaves up in the fall when her leaves fall, she ought to get out here and clean those up and not put them in her compost pile. She needs to get them off of her property. So that's the gist and overview of a common shot hole fungus that occurs. The University of Maryland has a great little overview on the cherry shot hole disease on their website. Just go to that help button and find it there. So there you are, common fungus.